Ask Credit Bal Sarge 442. What's a product that has a premium version that is really no different than the basic version? I was deciding between a water pick and a premium water pick with vastly different prices. Found the specs of both online, and they were literally identical save for the premium one having chromed plastic trim to be fancy, I guess. I bought the one Costco carries. I haven't changed the head or adjusted the settings. If I want it warmer I add warm water. Definitely didn't need the bells and whistles. I got a water kettle that was $10 more for a premium oak handle but it was the same thing but had a wood grain sticker on the regular handle, I was pretty salty but went some loose I guess. Wood grain groupin. When I was a teen back in 2003 I worked in a bistro cafe. We had 3 cup sizes that went up in price. Small cup. Large cup. Mug. The mug was the most expensive. It was the same volume as the large cup. Because it was a mug they could legally justify that it was a different product. Similarly, there's a local restaurant in my area that has tasty breakfast options. Their meals always have the option to pay an extra $1 to mega size the drink, but if you do that with coffee it comes the same size. So that's just a dollar that poofs into thin air with nothing in return. Infant Tylenol is the same as children's Tylenol. But there is less of it, in a smaller bottle, at a higher price. Literally. Same concentration and everything. Don't buy infant Tylenol. It used to be different, but parents were incorrectly dosing their kids. Now it's all the same. The Sephora Beauty Insider program is a joke. There are three tiers, Beauty Insider, Vib, and Rouge. BI is the basic version, if you spend $500 you become Vib and $1000 gets you to Rouge. Rouge used to be a premium tier. A free gift when you hit Rouge, free makeovers, free shipping it was worth it if you're a beauty lover. Shipping is now free for everyone and you don't get free makeovers or a gift for hitting Rouge. This program has gone so downhill in the last 5 years. Worse sampling and shrinking sample sizes, reduced benefits, no gifts, etc. WinZip 7zip is a million times better anyway and it's always been free. Tomahawk steaks. They are the same cut as cowboy steaks, without the extra long bone. The bone sticking out adds no flavor to the meat and gets wrapped in foil. You are paying for nothing more than looks. Next time you have to choose between one, choose the cowboy steak. Or just order a ribby. Going to be significantly cheaper than a Del Monaco, cowboy, or tomahawk. It is the exact same meat, just a little thinner and without the bone. Le Crusad has a classic and signature line. The only real difference is you get a slightly cheaper looking knob that's slightly less heat resistant but is okay up to most normal oven temps for that style of cooking, and there's a slight difference to the shape of the handles in the lower priced version this is usually the version found in the outlet and in discount retail stores. You can also buy the fancy in knob and change it out if you want. Deleted. I brought a hat off Amazon for $60. I was really proud of it till I saw the same hat at my friend's house. He had bought it at a gas station for $15. Mine had a Made in America liner stitched to the inside covering up the Made in China print on the hat. They stitched the liner on in America. Amazon Prime. Now that it has ads. Streaming is no different than other tech platform. Originally, it was free, or very cheap with no ads. Once it's got enough critical mass of traffic, ads make their way in. It's a money grab. Google is getting so bad these days with ads, I will often need to go to page 2 to find a result. There used to be the thing if it's free, you're the product. Not if it costs, you're still product, but you'll also pay for the pleasure of them throwing ads at you. I saw this today. Gillette Fusion 5 Power Replacement Heads. 
In the shops they were £2 more for a box than the non-power ones. But the back of the box said they fit all types. They're the same product, different packaging. Minus 10 million and 55,096. And. Our blades for PK 10 million and 55,100. Female razor blades are identical to male ones. They just have pink handles and cost around 20% more. Reaper. The trial period is indefinite, officially 60 days but you get a pop-up notification that you can close by clicking still evaluating, and you have access to the full version. Even then, the full version is 60 bucks, a fraction of what most doors cost and worth every penny. What is Reaper? Compuser 120 megabytes HDDs were formatted to 80 megabytes if that's what you ordered. We didn't carry two models. I'd always format it 120 megabytes even if the build sheet said 80 megabytes. Hero. LinkedIn really not worth a monthly fee to see who looked at your profile and get job recommendations which aren't remotely relevant. Snapchat plus for casual users. I heard you can get rid of the alley in your convo screen if you have plus. Weathercom. Who pays for a monthly subscription to Weathercom? In contrast, I bought the MyRadar app premium service a few years ago when I helped manage farms. There may be a free alternative now but at the time it was so awesome. I don't even remember what the difference was but I very clearly remember going oh damn that's nice. DoorDash Express Delivery. If it's like Uber Eats priority it doesn't mean that they will get to you super fast. It only guarantees that the driver can't have any stops before you. So you're paying for it to be directly from store to you without them stopping for other customers. That said, I think they definitely use misleading advertising about what you're actually paying for. I used to use UE a lot and maybe one stroke ten times the driver had a stop before me anyway. The trick is to not order from anywhere too far away. It's already delivery food and no matter what was made 20-30 minute minimum before you'll ever see it. What's another 5 minutes? Hearing aids. The way it was explained to me by the audiologist was that it was the same hearing aid, for 3 different price levels, but the manufacturer just disabled the functionality for some things on the lower levels. It seems criminal to me, especially when I think a set of hearing aids are probably $20 to produce and are sold for $2,500, $3,500, and $4,500. This is super common it is easier cheaper for manufacturers to make one product and then disable functions. There was a whole run of VCRs that offered different outputs, like S-Video, for more money. The insides were the same. They just covered the S-Video port up on the cheaper model but you could punch it out and use the port. Lab grown diamonds vs mind, look the same. No way. It's the blood of poor people that makes them better. Medication like paracetamol, Tylenol Panadol, and Ibuprofen, Nurofen Advil. The cheapest brand is just as good as the most expensive brand because they all share the same active ingredient. That's not actually true. The cheapest brand doesn't work as well. Until you put it in the expensive medications box and administer it from that. Then it's exactly the same. I was told Electrolux was a premium brand. My washer and amp, dryer refute this statement. I have a Speed Queen and it's just the best. Like three settings, every part is metal, and the name is hilarious. Also sold under the brand name Hibsch. Products not the right word but cats. You don't need a designer breed cat. I prefer the elite, big, dumb, orange ones. In many cases, store brand groceries are literally identical to the name brands. Toilet paper is literally the only name brand item I spring for. In Ireland there was a particular brand of yogurt I used to buy that I was certain was the same as a supermarket labeled one. 
the taste was the same and nutritional info was almost identical difference of 0.1 in one or two categories, fat, protein, etc. Dart. The brand name selling for 3 euro compared to 1 euro for the supermarket version. There was a big fire in the brand's factory about two years ago and both disappeared off the shelves temporarily, confirming what I believed. Any beer purchased at a major sporting game in the USA. The difference between the smaller and larger sizes is minimal, if anything at all. I can tell you for a fact as a former amateur beer slinger, at least at Cincinnati Reds games this is not true. Getting the biggest size does actually save you a little bit of money per fluid ounce. Not premium as such, but anything that you can put wedding in front of, 